my African kings and queens. the lady of the hour, too sweet to be sour, CEO of Face to Face Africa, Ms. Sandra Apio. This is the seventh year. Congratulations. What does it feel like? It feels great. You know, it's been a long journey, uh, but a very important, you know, and necessary one. Tonight we're here uh, to celebrate Pan-African achievements, creating um, a different narrative for people of African descent. <laughs> good. How's everything? Good. How are you? I'm very good. Very You're good. looking very well tonight. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm wearing... No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Like this feels so much like the Oscars. I love everyone is beautifully dressed. Um, you know, there's great food, drinks. This dress is everything. Thank you so much. It's an honor tonight. I'm receiving an award, and that's something I should acknowledge. I'm so honored to be here. Thank you for having me. Is this your first weekend? Mm -hmm. Well, we want you to have a lovely time. I better see you out there on the dance floor. Oh gosh, I might need to take my shoes off. How do you feel? I feel great. It's, uh, it's a great atmosphere. It's a great time. Um, so uh, I'm enjoying my time so far and it's a pleasure to be here. I'm honored face to face is connecting us around the globe and I'm just happy to be a part of this larger commitment to raising African people all over the world. Who said great things cannot come from Africa? I'd like to thank Face to Face for intentionally creating a face of Africa that we are proud to live every day and for building a legacy our children will be proud to embrace and build upon. Face to Face Africa, that's our mission, to rebrand Africa is to change the Pan-African narrative. So events like this uh, allow us to do just that, tell our stories in a, you know, innovative, creative ways, the best way we know, um, you know, we know how to, which is through celebration of our achievements and contributions um, to society. They say there's no greater gift that you can give or receive than to live your true calling. We all need Revelation. We are in one of the most exciting times in the discovery of new medicines. Now instead of getting chemo, eventually you'll be getting a drug that is just going to turn the signal on so that if you have cancer, you get cured. And this is an area that is now being explored, not only in cancer, arthritis, and also going to diabetes and many, many other diseases. Africa is the past, the present, day, and the future. We don't come to this country to take, we come to this country to give. And certainly, when you look at New York City's economy, when we have 230,000 small businesses, 52% of those small businesses are owned and operated by a foreign-born New Yorker. So we, we immigrants, are the economic engine of the city. We need investments. And so I, I accept this award on behalf of my team that works so hard to see to it that African Americans shift their thinking and our lifestyles from having designer bags with someone's name on it to having normal bags and take the money that we save and invest it in underdeveloped countries where people look like us. Let's all step up to the plate and do greater things. 